What is hypertension? Hypertension, often abbreviated as HTN, is the medical term for high blood pressure, which of course is dangerous. We'll talk about why in just a second. But normally, our blood pressure is considered to be 120 over 80, or that's the normal value that people shoot for or talk about as being normal. This top number is the systolic value, and the bottom number is the diastolic value. And the top number is basically the highest blood pressure uh, in the arteries. It's basically when your heart is contracting. And the diastolic one is when your heart is relaxed, so it's lower pressure. The range, though, for normal blood pressure, as, it, as not, all, not all people will have one, exactly 120 over 80 for their blood pressure, the typical normal range is 100 to 139 millimeters of mercury over 60 to 79 millimeters or excuse me 60 to 89 millimeters of mercury so this is considered to be the normal range sometimes people say that anything from 120 up to 139 or from 80 to 89 is considered prehypertensive and that everything below 120 over 80 would be considered normal but generally speaking this is the normal range but if you go beyond that, that would be considered high blood pressure. So you have high blood pressure if the systolic value is greater than or equal to 140, or the diastolic value is greater than or equal to 90. And this can be an and or here. So a systolic value of 140 or higher is high blood pressure. A diastolic value of 90 or higher is high blood pressure. And both together would be high blood pressure as well. Now there are two classes of hypertension and they're based on the cause. The first one is primary or essential hypertension and the second one is secondary. Primary or essential hypertension is when there's really no clear or obvious underlying medical cause for the hypertension. Whereas secondary is caused by other conditions that affect the kidney, arteries, heart, or the endocrine system. And most often, secondary hypertension is due to renal disease, which is diseases of the kidneys. Now, most cases of hypertension are primary hypertension. About 90 to 95 percent are primary hypertension, where there's no clear underlying cause and secondary makes up about five to ten percent of those cases ten percent of the other cases as far as primary or essential hypertension goes age genetics and environment are all factors that sort of seem to be contributing to primary hypertension but why is hypertension so bad the reason why is that hypertension puts a continued strain on the heart and arteries in your body and that is bad because that causes damage to those organs and that's the reason that's bad the damage to these organs is bad because uh, we need our cardiovascular system in order to survive and if the heart or arteries are damaged then that could lead to a bunch of different things including heart disease stroke and aneurysms, which all shorten life expectancy, which is not something we want if we want to live long, happy lives. So we want to prevent hypertension. How do we know if we have hypertension? What are the symptoms and how is it diagnosed? It's interesting because hypertension, most of the time, there are no symptoms. Most of the time, there are no symptoms. And that's interesting so hypertension is kind of silent it's sneaky on rare occasions there are some symptoms that I've outlined here the ones that are bracketed in blue uh, can just be due to anxiety or even stress or maybe even some other um, condition or disease and these pink ones or the ones that are highlighted in this bracket this uh, pink bracket here can if they do exist and they are due to hypertension it can be malignant hypertension, which is basically a hypertensive emergency, and that would need to be treated immediately. But 
generally speaking, there are no symptoms. So how is this diagnosed? Well, if you go to get your blood pressure measured, healthcare professionals use this thing called a sphygmo, sphygmo manometer, which is manometer. I definitely spelled that incorrectly. Sphygmo manometer which is a fancy term for a blood pressure cuff which they wrap around your arm and they pump it up and they also use a stethoscope to listen to the blood flow through your arteries and they might take your blood pressure let's say you run to the uh, to your doctor's office and you're getting your blood pressure measured and you just came in from running and you get a blood pressure of 142 over 92 that would be considered high blood pressure but one reading is not enough to diagnose high blood pressure because maybe the maybe the fact that you ran to the office elevated your blood pressure sometimes people are even stressed when they go to see a healthcare professional and that can increase their blood pressure the stress itself and so sometimes it's actually called white coat hypertension in which people go to the uh, to, to a healthcare professional or a doctor and they get their blood pressure measured and it's high simply because they went and they're stressed. So what ends up happening and is in order to diagnose this uh, we need to find out whether the blood pressure readings are consistent. So the diagnosis is based on persistently high blood pressure readings. In fact typically there are three readings taken each one month apart and if they all happen to be 140 over 90 or hypertensive in either case systolic or diastolic at that point hypertension can be diagnosed and when it is diagnosed there are there can there can be tests run including a urine test or a blood test or glucose test and or even a, an EKG electrocardiogram and these things would be ordered in order to rule out potential underlying conditions which would classify the hypertension as secondary hypertension. So how do we prevent hypertension? How do we prevent this bad thing? It's actually pretty simple. All we have to do is make healthy lifestyle choices. healthy lifestyle choices and this of course includes eating healthy foods so those healthy foods things like um, fruits and veggies and whole grains and lean meats low-fat dairy basically less sugar fat and salt which brings me to my next point here lower salt intake so lower salt intake can greatly help with reducing the risk for high blood pressure uh, another thing, of course, is maintaining a healthy weight for your your height um, is is important in order to prevent hypertension. Increasing physical activity, whether that's walking more, running more, playing a sport, increasing physical activity can greatly help cardiovascular health. Limiting alcohol consumption, of course, can help prevent hypertension. Quitting smoking and not smoking just in general is essential to prevent hypertension and something that may not be mentioned too often is managing stress if you can manage stress and that can actually help lower your blood pressure so if you can just be happy and smile you might be happy and he healthier another thing you could do is monitor your own blood pressure at home and kind of keep track of it and if you see that it might be going up a little bit you can take the the other um, things into account and maybe begin to manage your blood pressure on your own. So take your health into your own hands and prevent hypertension from perhaps getting to you. That's about it. Thank you for watching.